A man named Adrian is crying as he watches the video of his girlfriend Belen. She left him and asks that he doesn't go look for her. Adrian is devastated so he goes to a bar to get wasted. A pretty waitress named Fabiana takes his order, and several glasses later, Adrian goes out so drunk, he accidentally bumps a man who got angry and hits him. Fabiana goes out to help him. Adrian is so drunk that he forgets where he lives, so Fabiana drives for him, and she takes him to her place. Next morning, Fabiana offers him coffee, but he refuses to make conversation with her. He hastily leaves, and Fabiana seems disappointed. Adrian is a conductor of an orchestra, and in the middle of the rehearsal, he gets upset again and leaves. That evening, he goes back to the bar and apologizes to Fabiana for his ill manner that morning. To thank her for helping him, Adrian brings Fabiana to the theater, and she is impressed. The two are visibly attracted to each other, and they eventually make out until they do it in his house. While Adrian is sleeping, Fabiana goes to brush her teeth when she hears a strange sound in the sink. A while later, Fabiana goes wandering through Adrian's mansion and finds what seems to be sketches of ladies' shoes. She gets startled when Adrian calls and invites her for breakfast. He asks Fabiana to sleep in his house tonight after her work, and she gladly accepts. Moments later, two police detectives arrive at Adrian's house. They ask about his missing girlfriend Belen, and they request to search his house. Adrian says Belen did not disappear, she just left him for another man, and he is mad that the police think he did something to her. One evening while Fabiana is in the bathtub, she hears the strange sound again. She also notices that the water is moving despite her lying still and there are no droplets of water anywhere. When the lights suddenly went off, Fabiana freaks out, but Adrian tells her that they normally shut off the electricity when it is raining. The two later tries to make love, but Fabiana gets distracted by the dog that is staring at the wardrobe mirror. At the bar, one of the detectives named Bernardo warns Fabiana about Adrian, saying it is strange that he goes dating her right after his girlfriend goes missing. Fabiana explains that Belen left Adrian, but the detective does not believe that. Next morning, Fabiana is having a shower, when suddenly the water gets too hot, and her skin got first-degree burn. She hears the strange noise again, and gets startled when the dog suddenly enters the bathroom. That evening in her bedroom, Fabiana notices a key under the floor. She takes it out and puts it on as a necklace. The light suddenly goes out and she thinks that someone intentionally turned them off, so she goes to check it. The dog suddenly barks, startling Fabiana. She accidentally trips and hits her head on the piano. Fabiana tells Adrian that she's scared something would happen to her in the house. Adrian says what happened was just an accident, but Fabiana thinks that there is a ghost. She brings Adrian to the sink where she heard the strange sounds, but Adrian tells her that it must just be the wind through the plumbing. Next morning, Adrian receives a call from the police, saying they've found a body and invites him to identify if it could be his ex-girlfriend. The body is severely burned, and the forensic says it's impossible to identify her. Adrian is 100% sure that she is not Belen. When he gets home, Adrian hears Fabiana in the bathroom saying sorry, so he asks her who is she talking to, and she tells him that she was just talking to herself. She asks if the body is Belen's, and he says no. He then tells her that Belen is no longer in his life, and Fabiana is happy as she hugs him. She stares at the mirror, and there we see the ghost-like image of Belen. Flashback to when Adrian is still dating Belen. He shares the good news with his girlfriend that he was chosen to conduct the Bogota Philharmonic. Belen is so happy for him, and Adrian asks her to come and stay with him in Bogota. Adrian performs his first concert in Bogota, and Belen is proudly watching him. Their performance ends with a standing ovation from the audience. Belen looks for Adrian after the concert and catches him conversing with his colleague Veronica. The two then go to the mansion that Adrian is currently renting. It is owned by Emma who is planning to go back to Germany. She says they can rent the mansion under the condition that they look after her dog, and Belen has no problem with that because she loves dogs. The couple moves into the mansion, and they are happily living together. Belen starts working on her designed women's shoes, and she always brings the dog with her. She one day visits Adrian at work and catches him alone drinking with Veronica in his office. Belen is upset and while driving, she tells Adrian not to be surprised if one day he wakes up and she's no longer there. While Adrian is in the shower, Belen checks his phone. She later asks him why he and Veronica frequently call and text each other. Adrian says he just flirted with her a little and assures her that nothing happened. Belen still does not believe him and says she just needs to be alone for the moment. She tells Emma about it, and she wonders how Adrian would react if she suddenly dies or disappear. Emma suggests that she test him. She later brings Belen to a secret room in the mansion. 
Emma's husband served in the German army, and in case his enemy would come for him, he had the safe room built to hide. The room is sealed and fully soundproof, while the glass is a reinforced one-way mirror. With the speaker and mirror, they can see and hear what's happening outside. Emma is now leaving for Germany. When she left, Belen starts executing her plan. She records a video where she pretends that she is leaving. She also takes all her clothes to make her disappearance more convincing. When she sees Adrian arriving, Belen hurriedly takes the key, runs inside the secret room, and locks it. Inside, she can see Adrian's reaction while watching the video she recorded. Belen smiles when she sees his boyfriend crying. Now that she knows his reaction, Belen decides to go out to tell him that it's just a prank. But she couldn't find the key in her back. It turns out that she accidentally dropped it while rushing inside the secret room. Belen panics and screams to catch Adrian's attention, but since the room is fully soundproof, he can't hear her. She tries to call him, but the cell coverage could not get in the room. She then tries smashing the reinforced glass, but it does not budge a bit. Adrian shows the video to the police and asks their help to find Belen. Doubting his story, the officer says they will also check his house to find something that can help them trace Belen. While going around the room, Belen finds a can opener which she uses to try and pierce through the wall. She eventually gets hungry and opens the canned food, but it is already expired. She has no choice but to drink on the dirty water in the sink. While watching the video, Adrian says all the best, implying he's going to move on. Belen gets mad and kicks the pipe. She then notices that the water in the sink moves when she does it. She hits the pipes again and again, but Adrian does not notice the water moving. Belen is back at making a hole when she hears a noise. She is heartbroken as she watches Fabiana making love with her boyfriend. Next morning, at the time when Fabiana was brushing her teeth, Belen gets mad because she used her toothbrush. She yells at the sink and realizes that Fabiana can hear it faintly. That was the strange sound she was hearing all along. Later on, Belen continues to make a hole, and it is at the time when Fabiana was in the bathtub and notices that the water is moving. Belen loses hope when she finds out that there is a metal plate in the wall. She finds a knob and twists it, which turns out to control the water temperature. She turns it even more, until she sees Fabiana got burned in the shower, and she laughs at her. That evening, Belen sees that Fabiana has found the key, but she just wears it like a necklace. One day, Fabiana filled the sink to test if the ghost will respond to her questions. If the answer to her question is yes, Belen will hit the sink to make the water move. After a couple of questions, Fabiana finds out that the one she's talking to is Belen. Fabiana learns that she's not dead, but is just trapped. She also learns from the dog that the door to the secret room is in the wardrobe. She finally finds the keyhole, and is about to open it using the key, but then she realizes that if Belen gets out, Adrian might leave her. She pulls the key, and goes back to the mirror to tell her she's sorry. This was the moment when Adrian hears her seemingly talking to herself. Fabiana feels guilty for what she did to Belen, so she tries to talk to her again, but this time, she no longer responds. Next morning, Bernardo comes over to the mansion to tell Fabiana to be careful. He hands her pictures of Adrian having an affair with Veronica. This makes her think that Adrian might have locked up Belen so he could freely have an affair. Fabiana decides to open the safe room and inside, she sees Belen who seems to be sleeping. She tries to wake her up, but then Belen hits her head with a bottle, making her unconscious. She takes the key and runs out. Belen closes the door then goes downstairs, and there, she hears a voice message in the phone, informing her that Emma has died in Germany, and the family are selling the house. Belen is now the only one left who knows about the secret room. Adrian later arrives and finds the key in his bed. He also finds the picture of him and Belen on the mirror. The movie ends with Belen sitting on the beach, and then cuts to Fabiana trapped behind the mirror. Did you like our movie recap? Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. To be updated for new movie recaps, hit the notification bell.